guys. Welcome once again to Timmy Eats World. I'm Timmy, and I'm on location, as you cannot tell from my illustrious background. And I am outdoors, as you cannot tell from the wooden bench that I'm sitting at. I am outside in the confines of central Illinois. Many, many bugs are flying around me. Many of them are flying into my mouth as we speak. I'm quite certain that there's some right on this burger right now, eating it before I can. But that's no consequence to me or you, because I'm going to trudge on with what I need to do here for you, because you deserve it. All of you, millions and millions of viewers out there. Asterisk, may not be millions and millions of viewers. Well, I went to McDonald's, because they have one here in town, and I went to McDonald's and I had been seeing the advertisements for the third pound sirloin bird. And, you know, with me, um, any kind of new and exciting food is, is right up my wheelhouse. And, and is that the right metaphor? Up my wheelhouse? That doesn't even sound right. In my wheelhouse, up my alley, it's somewhere inside me, um, my desire to eat and love food. So I went out and got one of the sirloin burgers. And let me tell you my, my quick story before I get into eating food, because I'll let you guys know I'm pretty ticked off right now. I'm hiding it well, because that's what I do. I don't put my emotions where my heart on my sleeve whatever putting your emotions out there the metaphor is I'm really big on metaphors today aren't I anyhow so I'm very pissed off uh, because you know I go to the the burger joint McDonald's and order I want to get a conventional burger you know I want to get something that you know I could compare to other burgers of similar like um, at other food places so I can you know have a good good um, review for you guys so I got the one, they got three kinds. They've got the bacon, the one with bacon and cheese, again, bugs. The one with bacon and cheese, okay, that's cool, wonderful. They got the steakhouse, which seems to be Swiss and maybe mushrooms and stuff, maybe onions on, on top. And they got the traditional lettuce and tomato, all right? So I was gonna go for the lettuce and tomato. And you hence, hence you hear the, me say the word was. I was gonna go for the lettuce and tomato, and these bugs are killing me. All over the place, dang it. I gotta move fast because this will they'll start to eat me alive. Anyhow, so I want to get the lettuce and tomato, and sure enough, I order it on the screen. It says lettuce and tomato. If your order is correct, please pull around. Blah blah blah. So my order was correct on the screen, and I pulled around. So when I got to McDonald's and got got home and got it, what do I see? If you see the picture here, or it's flashing on your screen, or whatever else. No lettuce, no tomato, no ketchup, no mustard, no nothing. What do I have? I have the doggone steakhouse one with the mushrooms and stuff. I can't compare that to anything. Am I going to eat it? Hell yeah, I'm going to eat it. Am I going to be upset while I'm eating it? Probably for a second or two. That was a bug. I wasn't just angry at myself. So, and and I don't I don't get it. Here's the, okay, here's the dumb thing. Okay, here's the dumb thing. They have the tag for steakhouse out, right? You see how they do that? And they have the one for lettuce and tomato pushed in. Like, oh, it's not going to be lettuce and tomato, you sons of rubber. Anyhow, let's get this done before the bugs kill me, all right? Steakhouse burger. I guess I'm just reviewing the burger because I didn't want to review the mushrooms and whatever else. On first glance, it looks thick. It looks about as thick as the Angus burger used to be. It looks about as thick as what a quarter pounder looks like. Maybe a little bit wider than a quarter pounder. Who knows? I really have no no reservations that this probably won't taste any different from any other damn burger they have. Okay? So, McDonald's, you're wasting my time. Mm. Leave me alone. Jesus. Alright. I've eaten many a McDonald's burger in my life. I've eaten the Angus. I've eaten the Quarter Pounder numerous times. I've eaten Big Macs by the boatload. Anything new they have, I usually grab it, see what it tastes like. It does taste a little bit different, all right? Not tremendously different. You're not going to, like, if you took a, a Quarter Pounder and this next to each other, you probably could tell the difference. It's spiced a little bit different. Maybe they use more pepper. Maybe they use less pepper. I don't know. But it does taste different. Now, does it taste different from the Angus? Not hardly. I think they probably are passing off the Angus as a sirloin burger, just trying to make us spend extra money. Speaking of which, spending extra money. 
you know how much this dang thing cost? And, you know, obviously I didn't get the right one. Uh, so that upsets me. The lettuce and tomato burger. Oh, no, let me break it down for you. The steakhouse burger, of which I have, cost, I believe it was $4.99 or something like that in this particular town. The one with lettuce and tomato, as if lettuce and tomato makes it cost more, was five sixty nine. The one with bacon, and I can understand that bacon costs a little money, was five ninety nine. So basically, I spent an extra few cents for a burger I didn't want. Not to mention, it tastes no different than, say, a quarter pounder, really, which is a dollar less than that. So basically, you're spending, what, another dollar, another dollar fifty for all the ingredients you'd find on any other burger, and this burger doesn't taste any different. So um, I'm going to devour this thing because, damn it, I paid for it, and I'm going to eat it in protest. Curse you, McDonald's, and your particular people in this particular town, of which will remain lame nameless to avoid... Uh, conflicts and uh, litigation but I mean it tastes okay it's a burger it tastes like a burger but is it tastes like a six dollar burger heck no heck no in spades it does not taste anything like that so uh, I'm going to stuff the rest of it in my mouth probably I'll take another couple bites and I'll save it and have it for breakfast tomorrow Ooh, breakfast burger that's a new concept I like it they should put it on a biscuit damn it they've done that already god that's a burger. once again foiled by other people who have ideas Anyhow, get away from me, bud. Get off, get, get off my stuff, man. Okay. One more bite and I'm out, okay? I ain't even going to talk about it. We'll see you guys next time on Timmy Eats World. If you like me, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I am connected to all those jokers now. And I should be posting crazy stuff and other stuff about food as we go. All right? So I hope to see you guys on the other side. Um... Whatever you think about the burger, go ahead and try one. I'm going to try the bacon one eventually because <laughs> it's bacon. Um, so go ahead and you give yourself a try. See what it's all about. Uh, I'm not a fan, but that's not going to stop me from eating this bad boy. How <laughs> you're going down. All right. Take it easy, guys. We'll see you on the other side. Ciao. I had one damn burger. Okay. One. I didn't have an order. I didn't have a bunch of burgers. How can you mess up one damn burger? Come on, people. Uh, maybe it tastes a little better as you keep going into it, but I'm still angry. I'm angry. I'm, gonna eat, uh, I'm eating angry. Ah, uh, uh.